So in this video, I want to talk about Dance in the Vampire Bund. Honestly, I've talked about this a couple of times over the years, and it's one of my favorite vampire style story animes. And th there's a lot of things to talk about this that I, I could get into. I don't know if I will, but we'll see where things go. Vampire stories are one of those where some people love them and some people hate them, but people hate them for the wrong reasons. When people think of vampire stories, they automatically think of the worst ones out there, Twilight. And so vampire stories really did rise up back in like the 2010, which is where it came out, and then plummeted because of that stigma that kind of built up over time. I don't even remember when Twilight came out, but I'm pretty sure it was around that time, and yeah, there was a big love for it and a big hate for it. You look at things like Blade, which is funny because the new Deadpool movie has a, a, the Blade character in there. Like, yeah, there's a massive love for werewolves and vampire stories, and there was a massive popularity, and then it plummeted. And I really love Dance and Vampire Bun because it goes in a direction of a more power-driven, like vampire society, them in the public, the politics behind it all of the crazy stuff that involves in it but it's one of those that I really 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 want to see a remake for and that's just because I have read the manga for it I do have the main story for the manga but there's another component to that is that yeah there's Dance and the Vampire Bund which is the main story then you've got what you call Dive in the in the Vampire Bund then you've got Dance in the Vampire Bund the memories of Sledgehammer and then you've got Dance in the Vampire Bund 2 the Scarlet Order Dance in the Vampire Bund Age of the Scarlet Order and that is still currently ongoing it went on a massive hiatus and came back and it's still getting new chapters which is really awesome I want to get my hands on the physical copies of those mangas because I love the series. I want to see more of it, but I would expect it to be a remake because, yeah, it came out back in 2010. That's a long time ago. It's coming up to 15 years, and it was done by Studio Shaft. It's a good series. I would love if it got a remake. It stuck with the original opening and closing because the original opening is such a good classic. But, yeah, it's one of those where I would love for it to get the Spice and Wolf treatment, where it gets, like, a new se like a remake, new season, and it's, like, a double core, like, a double whammer. Because not too much of the main story would need to change in the first season. There's just a couple of characters that need to be changed, and that's mainly to do with the, the beast chick that the main protagonist fights in the story. That was never a female in the, light, uh, in the manga. It was a male. And so, yeah, there was a bit of a change up in the story. I'd have to reread the manga again to get the full story again back in my head, but there are very little differences, but there are some that I feel like would be important to kind of change back to its original state. I understand why the anime changed it to a female character because it adds for good, like, compelling, trying to, like, ooh, you know, maybe they might get together, but we really know they won't get together, but we'll pretend we think that they're going to get together so that it makes it sound like they're going to get together. It's just annoying in some components but adds for good drama i just love what the story has to offer and mina tepish she is just absolutely adorable as a character charismatic cute silly sundere style all those different personalities bubbling in her add for really great chemistry between her and of course her love interest being the main male protagonist the wolf boy and then you've also got the other school crush in there the one thing I do like about the original story is the narrating that, that g the girl does. And even in the dub, it's actually really well done as well. Again, another good dub for its time because it was done back in 2010. So you don't have a lot of the issues that have now cropped up in today's dubs. I would highly recommend it. If you want a good vampire story, go for it. But I will give a pre-warning because a lot of people hate lolly characters. She is a lolly character. She is a textbook lolly character. She is a multi-hundred-year-old vampire in the body of a young teen girl. And yeah, she does have an adult form that she hides. The story explains her being in a lolly very well. Like, it's actually a very good part of the story why it's like that. And that is simply because, yeah... She has to hide her older adult form because if she was to show her adult form, the other three leaders, the male leaders, would then basically encroach on her and say, hey, you now have to marry one of us and we get to have children, which she doesn't want. She doesn't want to be with them. 
So she fakes her age, basically hides her real age, or her appearance is the better way to put it, because she's not really hiding her age, but she's hiding her appearance of being much older looking because of the fact that she doesn't want the others to know about her adult form because then, yeah, she would have to bear their children and she doesn't want that. She doesn't want to be with them. It's very clear. But it also shows a much more darker side to the society as well and the rules and the politics that go into the Dance and the Vampire Bun series. That's what I like about it. It's got that dark undertone. There's also some stuff in this anime that honestly, as much as I would love a remake, and I would love for it to come back, I don't think it ever would, because there are some things in this anime that would not slide in 2024. And there is particularly one student that has a thing for a younger person, and that storyline, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, would that cause a controversy online. It would be a storm upon storms if that story was ever re-shown again. And that's why I do not ever expect it to probably get a, like an anime. If it does, I'd be super excited. But I'd also be concerned if it got a remake or a sequel or something, they would like prune that out. They'd just be like, especially if it was like a season two, they'd just get rid of those characters and just pretend they don't exist anymore. They've just gone on the merry way, disappeared. If it's a remake, they would probably prune those characters out and that story arc. Like I said, it, there are some topics in this anime and in this manga that are much more mature. This is a much more mature style story that I don't think a lot of younger audiences will be able to handle, and especially in this day and age, would not be able to wrap their head around because it would be too controversial for them to handle. And that's one of the reasons why I like Dance in the Vampire Bund. It goes into story points that are interesting to think about, interesting to read about, and yeah, they do make you think. It's not scared to dabble into uncharted territory but back then that wasn't really uncharted territory it is now it's become uncharted territory because too many stories are too scared to go into areas that are taboo or frowned upon or wave the naughty finger at and i think that's why i've kind of missed some of these stories and i enjoy going back to them and i feel like it works really well for a story like this like vampires the dark society the shadows how would they form in a you know an open world society all these kinds of things and then the fangless and those with the fangs and the taliban and the politics behind it and the wolf gang and everything like there's so many good components to this story and then also what is the true bloodline as well like there are so many good compelling story points in this that the writer did so well or the manga author did so well and so, yeah, I really want to see more of it in an anime format because getting your hands on the manga, unless you go to the high seas to consume the manga, it's really hard to get your hands on the physicals. It's really hard to, like, have public access. So that's why I would love the idea of another season or a remake to re-promote this to an audience that would appreciate a story like this. But again, I fall back to my original point. There are some topics in this that would not go down well with some people. But again, that also can be a good way to gatekeep those people out as well. So, I love the series. I love going back to it. It's actually really funny because little fun story is that I made a friend many, many, many years ago at a convention. And the topic came up of Dance in the Vampire Bund. And she was a massive fan of the series, and she still is. And that's how we became friends, me and an individual that we've been friends for a very long time now. Yeah, that's how we became friends, because we both had a kindred love for Dance and the Vampire Bond, and she loved her lolly characters and vampires and all that kind of story. So there are definitely a lot of people out there that still like this niche story, and occasionally from time to time I do get people been asking, you know, what do you think about season two? What do you think about a remake? And it's something that I always hope for, but it's it's simply just a hope. Love the story. Highly recommend it if you haven't watched it because, again, like I said, it's an action supernatural vampire story and it does have romance in it, even though it doesn't have the romance tag in it. It's got romance in it. It's just done in a way that I think is very well done. It's kind of like a Romeo and Juliet style romance where there are two conflicting individuals. And it really goes into philosophical debate of love as well because she lives for pretty much eternity while he, the wolf, doesn't. Now, again, I'm sure someone will try and spoil stuff in the comments. Be quiet. I know you don't need to tell everyone. So it's a great story. 
highly recommend it. So again, if you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video.